All right, hey everybody, so on top of my art, I'm just gonna show you how to trisect an angle using folding. Um, the problem that Euclid had was that he could, using a compass and straight edge, divide an angle into two parts, but he couldn't trisect an angle, at least not an arbitrary angle. So what I'm gonna do is first, using a, a Sharpie and construction paper, and also this is a technique that I learned uh, from uh, number file and also I just uh, googled how to trisect an angle and uh, to find the technique um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold an arbitrary angle uh, let me find a good I'll do this one right here so I'm going to do the best I can to make that angle perfect so this is just an arbitrary angle it's pretty Here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dot this line right here. Okay, all right, now yeah, I'm just going to do here. So, this is the uh, angle I'm going to trisect. Okay, so the first thing to do is fold the paper in half like this. Try to get it as perfectly as possible. That is all about being precise. Okay. And so you got one fold and then you take the same and you pull it, put it right here. Fold that in half right there. Okay, so you got that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off these. Okay, that's about probably all I need. And then these right here. Okay, try to get it like that. Okay, so now the next thing you do, so once you got those lines, you take and make a mark close to here. The reason I'm using Sharpie is because it bleeds through so I can see when I fold it. So you make one here, and then on the second line that's about halfway at the paper, make a second point. Okay, and you take these two points and you wanna put this upper point along this line. At the same time, you want this lower point along this line. So, go ahead and do that. So, I put this on this line and then try to find where the two can both be on the line together. That looks about right. Make a crease right there. Okay, so once I've made a crease there, you uh, take your marker again. Where this point was, you want to put right under it another point, right there. Okay, and also I'm going to mark this line right here, that crease I just made. Can't be very precise. I might I try to be do better here. So about right here. Okay, so that's one point. All right, now. This is, this is where you start from. So you wanna flip it over and taking this corner, so here's my angle, so this is the back side. You wanna fold it so that this bottom dot and this dot on this line line up. Okay. Best here, oops, sorry. All right, this might not be exactly precise, but I'm gonna get it as close as possible. Can do it if you if you fold it better, you're able to do it. <laughs> All right, and then you want to do the same thing with this line. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that? There it is.
there. Boom. All right. And now what you can do on this side is trace along these lines. On the mountain folds you just made. Anyway, you can go you can go a little higher than that. But this is a trisected angle. Right there. Um, and also, once you get to the point where you put the dots down, uh, if you don't want to fold it, you can just use a straight edge and connect this dot and uh, this dot to this dot, or this dot to this dot, this dot to this dot. It'd probably be even better than folding it, uh, just because my folding skills are somewhat lackluster, but you get the idea. The, uh, the important part, though, is when you start off and you have these two points, that you uh, fold it over to connect here. That gives you the starting point for this dot, and it gives you that crease to where you put this dot, which, if you intersect it with this line, uh, angle initially, will put it right at the uh, three-way mark. So that's how you trisect an angle using um, just folding, and it's pretty, pretty impressive.